than the Nexus in any way, so... Rider, this is Kandros. Sam warned us about Knight's attack. Unfortunately, one device triggered already. We lost a chunk of hydroponics. Sorry, Kandros. I had to help someone out. Where's Knight? We're tracking her down, but those devices are still alive. I need you to take care of them quietly. We can't afford panic. Convicted murderer Noken Renza. Okay. Good to be a bath. Unlocking. Come on in. Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh... What do you think? Have Suvi and Gil look it over. If it checks out, bring it aboard and fast-track the combat model. Okay. I guess I understand your skepticism. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human Pathfinder. I meant, who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Don't be so condescending, babe. This is Peavy's place, and you're trespassing. I'd say that warrants a little hostility. Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, want to talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. But how can you give all this up? Watch me. Easy come, easy go. I'll pack up my new pets and essentials. 
See you back on the Tempest. Sam, anyone nearby? Negative, Pathfinder. The vicinity is clear of all personnel. There is a blank spot in your vicinity, Pathfinder. What do you mean? I cannot. The data pad is password locked. Shall I run a decryption? Seems worth the risk. Do it. Accessing audio logs. Play the first one. Tan is starting to get along with Vetra's replacement a little too well. Better do something about it. Play the second one. Remind Addison that the Krogan all left. Keep her unhappy. Play the third one. Stay away from what's-his-face in charge of the first colony. If he thought I was messing with Addison, he could be serious trouble. Thanks, Sam. Cash, I'm not sure what we can do here. We've got the system stabilized for now. But we're going to need to reroute power soon. We could lose some stasis pods if we don't. What? What's this? I cannot scan what you're holding, Pathfinder. It's somehow blocking me, as a scrambler might. Sounds like a job for a comms expert. Helios is complete for now. Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. We'll check it out. And hop over. Break my legs. And keep on walking. For an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the Ket. There's high hopes for this alliance. The Angara have their own problems, and we're newcomers in their cluster. We need to work at this. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water? Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. Aya is a sovereign planet of the Angara. We have no right to settle there. Strong stuff. Here's hoping we don't need to. Okay, that's... Oh, a call from the director's office. Excuse me. Don't. Don't shove the crate off the... the crate off the... I stopped an unauthorized shipment to Kadara. Important stuff. Rations, tools, power cells, you name it. Corresponds with inventory discrepancies. Someone stealing and storing supplies around Nexus and Hyperion for delivery to the Exiles. 
if you could keep an eye out for suspicious or out of place packages, I'd appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. Great. Stolen supplies haven't been processed for release, so Sam should be able to detect them. And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed, for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder, this is the head of the Angaran delegation. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me Issa de Navar. Welcome, Ambassador. The Angara's first formal visit will be one for the history books. I wonder what they'll say. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. So much life. All different, all united. The way it could have been. Seventy-five years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the Scourge. Then, the Ket arrived. Alien life. It was monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions. Your people have endured much, Ambassador. I'd be cautious too. Yet all this, your initiative, is proof there's a better way. I want to believe in this Alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. We don't expect you to enter this Alliance blindly, Ambassador. Everything we say, you can check. You'd be that open with us? We have nothing to hide. They'll surrender their weapons to your militia, if that's satisfactory. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Havoa Sepjav Teravon, Pathfinder. Welcome to Andromeda. We yeah, want them to feel as comfortable as they can here. Interesting place, isn't it? Full of smiles and handshakes. Not many soldiers. Even though when politicians make peace, it's we soldiers who keep it. Politicians get nervous when you hold anything more explosive than a rotten egg. <laughs> You've seen this too. The military life echoes everywhere. But names. I know you, Pathfinder. I am Andrachno. A Heskarl with the Resistance. A Heskarl? Centuries ago, Heskarl were special forces. We defended colonies, passing our training down via oral history. Few remember us today. I came to learn what the Milky Way knows of such things. I heard your father was part of a similar program. An N7. What have you learned about the N7 program? Human soldiers who trained on exotic worlds. Arturus, Europa, Rio de Janeiro. They learn to fight in all environments, on little food or sleep, to care for their injured, to lead. Is that accurate? Wasn't your father one of them? He was. Although things soured when he began AI research. Didn't stop him teaching me and my sister a few tricks. So, you carry a little of that knowledge with you, as well as your Pathfinder skills. N7 training would benefit my people. Heskal training would benefit yours. Perhaps a few war games. Show me how your skills handle the tests of a Heskal recruit. Challenge yourself and teach me. A chance to work with the Angaran best of the best? Absolutely. Excellent. I'll activate our training beacons. Finding them can be your first test. After that, I look forward to learning. Sounds like fun. 
and a good way for both to learn. The Angara have their own problems, and we're newcomers in their cluster. We need to work at this. Uh. These are stolen supplies. I'll alert the dock manager. There, Dutch. I'll have to get used to you too, I guess. <laughs> Fine. You can be a regular. What's your name? Scott. I'm Dutch. That's Anan over there. Be careful. The snark is strong with that one. I'll be careful. I was being careful. Look where it got me. A station bartender with people offering help all the time. And they just want free drinks. That too. You'd think people would reconsider picking on the guy making the drinks, but no. Speaking of, want to try this one? I'm going to call it the Tall Moose. Okay. Check if there is anything in the, the cryo bay. Various parts of the nexus. Authorities have no word on completion and remind visitors to avoid infected air. Ah, there is something here. This is HNS. Friend who came across on the Solarian art. How do I find it? Right there. Another cache of stones. Nothing else. And this supplies. And that's the dock manager. But they've got Pathfinder out there trying to find it. I gave Prodromos the best start a Pathfinder could. But we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Another cache of stolen supplies. Okay, speak with Sam. Alerting the dock manager. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you two. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? 
Um... Really? Well, uh, you're both looking taller. Yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. Right, right, I know. So, um, I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, uh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shared a common interest. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is when Alec first learned of the initiative. It will be just a moment. Hello, Alec. I'm too old for Cloak and Dagger. I got your message. I'm here. Who are you? A benefactor, if you like. You have something to offer me? A future. That's vague. A future for your wife. You're out of money. Your contacts have dried up. You can't finish, Sam. How do you know about... I can help you. Whatever you need. Start by telling me what you need. Your AI is more than a cure for your wife. It could also be the salvation for many others. I don't follow. Where we're going, we'll need a different perspective to understand things. Where's that? The Andromeda Galaxy? I have a proposal for you. And Ellen doesn't have much time. Are you interested? Who was that? The benefactor? I believe there was more to the Andromeda Initiative than was publicly understood. Private logs are now available in your father's quarters. They may shed further light on the matter. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. I had a strange meeting yesterday. I thought it would be with Jien Garson who founded the initiative, but it wasn't. I guess Jien's the visionary, the one who gets everyone excited about the project and drums up publicity. But then this benefactor apparently provides resources and money. And I mean a lot of money. It's a little unusual. But everything about this project is. Interesting. I wonder if Director Tan knows anything about this. Worth talking to him. I accepted the Initiative's offer. They're calling me a Pathfinder. <laughs> There's no other option left. Sam will never happen without their help. Our savings are gone, and 
no one will return my calls. I am a pariah. There's something strange going on with this benefactor. But Ellen's getting worse. I can't fail her. Okay. Sorry to call you in, but this is best handled discreetly. Talk to me. Short version. One of Harry's med techs snuck a relative on board. Woke them up, cut them loose. Turns out this relative has a rare illness. Not contagious yet, but in the later stages. Does Tan know about this? What? No, absolutely not. Tan's office is an informational sieve. This gets out, we'll have a station-wide panic. Besides... This is a Hyperion matter. My responsibility. That makes it mine too, doesn't it, Captain? Thank you, Ryder. Please keep this to yourself for now. The only way this ends without major losses is if we handle things before the rumors get out. Right. I'll look into it. Good. Talk to Harry. He can brief you on the details. Let's bring this under control before it's too late. Okay. Quickly go. To okay, Cryo Bay. An embassy has been established on Io, marking a major diplomatic success for the initiative. Nexus representatives are now working directly with the Angarans to learn more about both the Cluster and the Ket. This Have you been to is HNS. This is no good. Good you're here. Dunn briefed you. Sick person loose on the station is bad enough. I wish that's all there was to it. Before we left, my med tech Charlie helped his aunt sign on to the initiative program. He cheated the screening process? Yeah, she has TH314. Deadly, highly contagious in the latter stages and jumps across species. It was dormant, but flared up when Charlie woke her. He just assumed it was stasis sickness. There's no cure, no vaccine. It's deadly in its final stage and she's off grid. She's a problem. What should I know about this TH314? Stage one symptoms are similar to stasis sickness, which is what fooled Charlie. Stage two is marked by extreme bouts of paranoia. It becomes virulently contagious at stage three. Airborne, the works. Is anyone else infected? No one so far. According to the test results I received after Charlie left, she's still in stage one. If she progresses to stage three, Ryder, it'll be bad. It's a rare disease, but the kind that starts pandemics. Any idea where he's gone? Not long ago, he was assigned to an Apex unit for a mission. Incommunicado at the moment. Charlie had no idea the virus would flare up after stasis. Virology isn't his specialty. She's his only relative. Even so, he should have known better. We need to help her, you mean? Every instinct I have, both medical and human, is screaming at me to help her. Making sure TH314 doesn't spread is the top priority, no matter what. This one isn't going to be easy. Anything else I need to know? Be quick, but discreet. We can't panic the entire station over this. I only have a whole space station to search. Discreetly. Check. Could be worse. She could be off station and potentially infecting the Angara. Try customs first. Even with fake medical clearance, she had to go through there like anyone else. <laughs> 